between um, Revit and FreeCAD so I'm going to start a new file and the aim of this little test is just to create something simple where I'm going to actually go through the process of importing of exporting and importing into FreeCAD in the previous video I couldn't do that because the file size was way too big so we want to do that on a relatively small project so that we can easily uh, look into the small details first so let's just grab a few uh, simple elements um, let's see um, let's create a um, let's create uh, one meter wide by let's say uh, ten thousand I guess let's see. okay let's drag our wall faces like this and here as well Okay, so let's tell this to be, let's make it smaller, um, to thousand, maybe that's too small, uh, let's go for five, okay, and uh, here as well. Let's go for five here. Okay. Delete instance. We have a very simple rectangle wall. Let's go for six. Just to make it a rectangle. Okay. So now we can put a door here. Like this. Um, we can put a window like this. And let's try to put a curtain wall. system with um, a curtain wall in it. Ready. Let's tell my curtain wall to automatically embed. Okay, it's looking good. Um, let's go to the 3D view. East elevation. We have two floors, okay. Um, let's go to level two. Let's just um, put a ground slab, floor, draw one here, finish, okay, and um, all I have to do now is I want to break down go back to 3D this mall in a little bit like so okay and uh, Some more limbs all around. Shade it, and I think that's about it. Let's put uh, our first floor slab ground. And 
then. Let's see, maybe we want to do a roof. Hold a roof. Yes. Okay, and then go to level seven, uh, level roof, and project. Let me see what's going on. Range level, level two. So let me draw my roof. Let's give it an offset of 300 for the overhangs and If I delete it, okay. View 3D map perfect. Uh, Mullions, okay. Very simple um, structure. Okay, so now what I'm going to simply do is I'm going to find export IFC and I'm going to rename uh, I'm going to call that project one. Okay, save that export. Now I bring FreeCAD. So in FreeCAD, they you can go into the preference as brought to me by Sasso from FreeCAD community. Um, import, export, and then there's an IFC op option here. Um, so you can set up a few parameters here. Import IFC as object, architecture objects, not parameters. Uh, simple part shape, one compound, and all these. Um, so you can choose how uh, simple part shapes. You can bring them into a simple part shape, or uh, you can define what you want. Separate openings, detect extrusions. Uh, if you see multi-layer multi walls, you can split them. Um, so you have an array of options here that you can uh, you can sort of set up, and so this is going to prevent some of uh, the option the 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 little effects that was in a previous video where let's say the door was opening, uh, well, the window was rotated or the door were not in position because um, you know those were supposedly clones. And so if you are let's say um, parametric architecture object. Um, Non-parametric lock. Let's go with this one. Okay. Let's go with the non-parametric architecture object. Let's try that. So, okay. So, import project one. So, as you can see, it's converting shapes. So here's building. So I, 
So this time around I have everything concerning the glass and it even went around and broke down the window. So everything looks neat. Um, so everything is there as, should, as it should be. So as you see the, the, the walls here are connecting are not showing as connected but everything is there um, so let's go to the top view okay and there's some materials okay so let me go to the top view um, go to the surface work plan and architecture Right, so go to wireframe very quickly okay so the doors are in position everybody is good I just want to measure a few things just so I know everything is accurate uh, let's see where's my dimension tell me what this is distance 6,000 millimeters so this is six meters so basically it's what it is and needless to say that this is the same thing so this one is uh, 5200 mil I thought that was supposed to be 5,000 let's do that again from here to here 5200 interesting ah it's 5200 okay so so that's it you know um that's the way uh importing in a uh, an ifc file into freecad works so from here on i can now uh work with these files where I can do further further work where I can even um, join them further and you know I can start to work with these and convert them into regular free CAD objects just by doing this I upgrade them this way and as you can see all these joints are taken care of so it's just the same thing as in uh, Revit at this point uh, now you see my windows do not have the material property let's see what's that so glass glass the color for glass let's try that okay so it lost its material oh actually no glass let's try a red glass okay so the material is there um, so this would be uh, Door, uh, window panel I would guess okay door panel let's try that the door panel cannot be so dark the fold wall the fold roof the fold door Aluminum. I want to change my aluminum to blue. Okay, that works. Default floor. I want the floor to be green. Okay, that works. Aluminum. Sash. Okay. Do not see my sash glass door panel purple mm. door frame purple nothing and of course the default wall Uh, 
Oh, these are the fusion I had to bring back. It's hidden. Because the fusion is not the wall. But this gives you a general idea of what you can do. So the, the model is fairly usable. Uh, you can always uh, uh, do whatever you need to do with it and take it further for whatever purpose you need it for. So that's about that for this video. Uh, I guess I'll see you into the next one.